hello everyone in this video we will see how we can send whatsapp messages from our app to a particular contact like this when i click on the whatsapp button it will open the particular contact with a message typed so we can send the message like this so let's see how we can do this all right so at first i will change the constraint layout to relative layout and I'll delete this text view and add a new button I'll set the width and height to wrap content and let's give this button an ID btn and let's now put this button to the center of the screen so let's center in parent true and for the text here I'll write uh, whatsapp and I'll set the text size to 18 SP okay now you can go to the main activity dot Java here I'll define the button btn and inside here I will write btn equals find view by id r dot id dot btn so i have initialized our button and now for the whatsapp number and the text which you want to send i will define two variables so i'll take a string i'll name it num and here i'll define the phone number so that's it and then I'll define the message which you want to send so string text equals for example let's write hello all right now I'll define a on click listener for the button so button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside here I'll define a boolean value boolean installed equals to is app installed and here we have to pass the package name of whatsapp so I'll write com dot whatsapp all right now let's create this function so here I'll click the create method and I will click on the main activity so here it is and inside here I'll call the package manager create an object equals get package manager and here I'll also define a boolean value boolean is installed okay and here we have to create a try catch block so I'll let try and inside here I'll call the package manager dot get package info and here I'll pass the string which we are passing here yes and then I'll write package manager dot get activities okay so then I have to set the boolean value to true as we are getting the package info so is installed equals true all right so we have to create a catch block here also so here I'll click on this and click on the add catch clauses so now inside here I'll set the boolean value to false so is installed equals false and outside here we have to return the boolean value so I'll write return is installed all right now let's get back to the on click listener of the button so here I'll check for is the app is installed so I'll write if installed so if it gets true in return 
then we will insert in this block and here I will call the intent create an object equals new intent and here I'll pass the intent dot action view all right then I'll write intent dot set data and inside here I'll write URI dot parse and we have to pass the WhatsApp API so I'll write HTTP colon slash slash API dot whatsapp dot com slash send question mark phone equals and then I'll add the number where you want to send the message so I'll write num which we have defined and with that we have to give the text which you want to send so for that I'll write and text equals and here I'll add the text variable which we have defined all right now we can start the activity intent and if the whatsapp is not installed in our phone for this we can write a toast message which will say that whatsapp is not installed all right so our code is now ready let's run this So our app is now ready so when I'll click on the whatsapp button so oops here I have made a mistake it will be whatsapp.com I have right con okay all right let's run this again Now you can see our app is ready and when I click on the WhatsApp button it will open the WhatsApp app and here you can see we have the phone number opened and here is the message typed so we can click on this so it will send the message so that's how we can send WhatsApp messages from our app thank you for watching